you mentioned the self-evaluation and <clears throat> you know how things um progress during the season how they progress during a game from first half to second half i'd be interested to to understand in your mind how does the um the level the personality of the individuals that you have to officiate as they change each and every night <clears throat> system individual coach how does that play a part into the adjustment that you have to make i think we so we start with the standard there's a standard when it comes to contact there's a standard in which we call fouls and violations etc cetera, etc cetera. there's a standard by which um we allow participants to behave and how far we let them go and what's the how we toe the line between passion and emotion you know versus usurping that line and and, and wading into the technical foul territory so we have that standard um when it comes to but and everyone here on this call would know when it comes to basketball you're dealing with many different personalities right we're dealing with at any time we're dealing with 10 different players on the floor two coaches and bench personnel. And so there's gray area there, right? And, you know, when it comes to dealing with them, you know, there's different personalities. And, and the goal, I think, you know, when I look at it, the goal is to try to decrease, you know, decrease the temperature, bring people down when they are passionate or when they are you know, towing that line, because the goal is to have a game, a free flowing game, a game that people can enjoy, that people want to watch, that's, you know, good for the players um, and fair for the players. And so I'm always evaluating that environment. I talked about the environment that we have in our locker room, but as referees, we, have to, we also have to create the proper environment on the floor, right? And so some may, you know, you may think, oh, you know, I don't want to discipline this guy because, you know, I don't know what it'll lead to. But the argument against that is that you are in, char you are in charge of creating that environment on the floor where players can perform and excel. And I believe that coaches, players, everybody, they want the structure, they want the order, they want to know that they're, you know, playing in an environment that's controlled and disciplined right and so as referees we always have to take that into account that you're in charge of not only just calling a calling fouls to the basket but you're in charge of the whole the game flow the whole environment and so you have to address things and, and coaches and players are different what works with player a may not work with player b and so for me that's continually throwing stuff against the wall and seeing what works, seeing what doesn't, reading people, reading, you know, a player or a coach's demeanor and where they are, you know, are they really serious? Are they kidding around? Are they incensed? Are they just putting up a show? All that stuff is, is the art of, officiating and so reading people and understanding people um it's a huge part of refereeing um and i think we get it in our game you know much more on a continual basis than in baseball football you know hockey and those uh, the other major sports because you're dealing with participants right in an enclosed space right up on you so the more you can read people the more I can say to myself, okay, this response worked with this coach on Monday, but it didn't work with another coach on Thursday. And why didn't it work? Was I too aggressive with the first coach when I didn't need to be, right? Or did I say, you know, did I say the wrong thing? You know, sometimes you throw stuff against the wall and you have to be able to come back and go, yeah, that didn't work, you know, or I'm not going to use that one again because it failed. Right. You say something that just incenses a coach and you go, OK, right. That didn't work. And then there's times where you throw something, you say something and it brings everybody from here to here. And those are the, the good times when you go, yeah, that, that actually, you know, that comment, that, you know, situation, it worked. 
And so that's, a, that's for every evolving, Sean. That's yeah. every night. 